Hi YouTube family. Happy, happy Friday. Hope everybody had a wonderful, wonderful day today. I'm going to be sharing a recipe for non-alcohol grape juice black cake. And this is my finished product. Let me show you how I did it. So this is how I prepare my fruits for the non-alcohol black cake. I also have a version made with sorrel non-alcohol. So here I have some raisins, some sultan raisins, and I have here some currants. You can use prunes, dates, any kind of dry fruits you like into your black cake. For this specific one, I'm only gonna be using some raisins and currants, and that will be enough for my cake. And here I'll be using some grape juice, and this is working as our soaking agent, and this is gonna work for the liquid to soften the cake and to help to keep it moist instead of using alcohol. So one thing I like to have on hand when I am baking cake or doing any baked goods is to have a kitchen scale or some measuring cups. Today I'm gonna be sharing all the ingredients that I'm using for this cake in pounds or cups for those who have a scale, it will be convenient for them. And those who have measuring cups, it will be convenient for them as well. So both pound measurement and cup measurement will be available in the description box below. It's so simple to prepare this fruit. I have another version how to prepare this fruit. Same day, you just steam the fruits on the stove and you can use it right away. It's amazing, quick, and I've done it so many times and you get a perfect result. So let me show you how I do this one. So for this specific cake, I'm gonna bake a half a pound. And this measurement that I'm showing, it will be for half a pound of black cake. But if you wanna make more or less, you can also decrease or increase your measurement. So on my scale, I added one cup of raisin and that is equivalent to half a pound because this is a little just a few drops more yes because this is heavy so one cup of the raisin is equivalent to half a pound let's see here and the same thing one cup of currants is equal to half a pound so for all my friends who are using measuring cup, I have you covered. And you just wanna add all your fruits in one big bowl. You can go in with extra because black cake is known to be a dense and rich and solid and very, very delicious cake that when you eat a tiny piece, because these are mostly prepared for Christmas and weddings, or time when you share them, they make it so decadent and rich and heavy that when you have to share with a lot of people, a little piece goes a long way. I think that's the whole idea for the black cake. And in Guyana, it is very, very popular in Christmas and weddings. And this is the time when it brings family together because they come together to bake. And you know, you have lots of fun preparing this cake. So this cake brings lots of memory, great tradition, and a lot of um, gathering and togetherness for this one. So I'm doing this with my daughters, just like my mom and my grandma used to do with me. So this is how much fruits we have in here. And you can always add extra if you like. So today I'm gonna go in with an extra half a cup. I like my cake to be very, very nice and solid. So I put a half a cup extra of the raisins. So now we're gonna go in with our grape juice. And you can use any grape juice of your choice. It's non alcoholic Yes, and we are gonna pour so much that we're covering the fruit with the juice. And then you wanna cover this down and leave it until all the raisins and currants is nice and plump. You can do this for overnight or you can soak it early in the morning and then blend it late at night 
or you can leave it for about seven to eight hours and they'll get nice and soft and plumped. So let's check on our fruits. I had it soaking for about seven hours. Me and my So we're gonna check it out and see how it looks. Wow. So I have it covered and we can see that it's nice and plumped up. Look at that. So nice and plumped. Even those currants, you can see them nice and soft and it smells really nice, right? Yeah. So what I'm gonna do with this now, with the, all the juice that I have inside, we're gonna blend this up to a nice chunky texture. You can blend it to a smooth texture, however you like your cake to be. But I'm gonna put this in my blender and I'm gonna show you the texture I'm blending it to. Let's add half of it to my blender and I'm gonna do half at a time because we wanna give it enough room to blend properly. So I just finished blending up my fruits, just like that, and I'm making it a little bit on the chunkier side, not too chunky, not too smooth, just with a little bit of a texture, because I like mine with a little bit of texture. So we're gonna set the fruit aside, and we're gonna start to mix our butter and sugar together. So I have my sugar measure out here, I'm gonna go in with my butter and you need room temperature butter for this. If you put frozen butter, it will not turn out the way you want it to. So I had my butter outside of the fridge softening up a little for me. And now we're gonna go in and mix the butter and the sugar until all the sugar crystals are melted. So I have my eggs here and I break all of them. I'm gonna add some orange zest and I'm using dried orange zest. It's gonna help to take away that, that eggy taste in the cake and it gives the cake a nice flavor. So I'm gonna freshly grate some into my eggs. Now that we just grated the orange zest into the eggs, I'm just gonna whisk it up a little so we can mix it into the eggs. So I'm adding a little bit of the egg at a time and then I'm gonna keep mixing. This is gonna help to melt the sugar crystal faster. So I just finished mixing my butter and sugar together. I have here some allspice powder, baking powder, cinnamon powder, nutmeg. I have cake browning that I'm gonna be using. And I have here some all-purpose flour, mixed essence, and I have my fruits. You can use any essence of your choice. I like to use the mixed essence when I'm making black cake. Or depends on what mood I am. I'm gonna add my flour in a strainer and I wanna sift my flour into the mixture. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my baking powder right into the flour and gently mix that flour in. We're gonna go in with our allspice powder, cinnamon powder, and we're gonna grate our nutmeg into here once I mix this little. And at this point, I don't wanna use my mixer because I can gently do this by hands. We're gonna add our nutmeg now. This is one of my favorite spices to add to cake. So I'm gonna make sure I do a generous amount. Now we're gonna go in with our fruits. And for black cake, you can add as much as you like. Of course, there is a measurement, but if you add more, it's still gonna give you a good cake. If you add less, you're just gonna end up with a fruit cake. 
a dark looking fruit cake so you have to really make sure that you're adding enough of the fruits to balance off the mixture so you're getting that nice beautiful black cake texture and consistency that you're looking for it is smelling nice so i'm gonna go in with my mix essence mm, smells like christmas right yeah so essence is in there and we're going to add our cake browning and I like to go a little bit at a time and we're going to mix and add. If you add too much, you're going to end up with a bitter cake and you won't enjoy it. So I like to mix and, and then I can eyeball how much. I want to have in there. Oh, it smells really good. Mm -hmm. Got all the spices and everything. So the way mine is looking, I have to add some more. So I'm going to go in with another teaspoon of the cake browning. So I normally use the caramel browning from the Chief brand or, or Mr. Gouda's. They have a cake and gravy browning that I will use for mine. I'm not sponsored by Chief or Mr. Gouda's, but those are the brands that I normally use in my cake. So I just finished mixing the cake. There's an old time saying when you bake cake, if the spoon stick in the middle, that that's the perfect texture and it is ready to go so mine is ready to go i like the color that i have i'm gonna add i'm gonna put this into a baking dish and we will start baking this cake i'm using nine inch pan for this cake and i just grease it with some butter and i also add some parchment paper on the bottom i'm gonna go in here because this is a cake it doesn't run over so I made a full nine inch and I'm gonna make one small very small pan with the rest so this is going into my 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes to an hour or until a toothpick come out clean. So my cake is finished and this small one here take exactly 45 minutes. This one takes about 50 minutes in the 350 degree oven. It cracked here, but that's fine. I'm gonna pour some of the grape juice on the cake while it's still hot. And then we're gonna let it sit until it's cold and then we will cut into the cake this one here it poof up nicely but eventually when it cold it's gonna turn like this one see the poofiness is gone but that's fine that's totally fine because this is a black cake there is lots of fruit in there so it's not gonna be like a sponge cake fluff up to the top it's gonna set and it's gonna look like this one so let me pour in my grape juice on these two and this is your non-alcohol black cake made with grape juice. So all my friends who love black cake and think you can never have it because of alcohol, you can have it without alcohol as well. So we're gonna go in with our toothpick to check it out. If it comes out clean, we know that it's fully cooked. And you can see, clean, where's my toothpick? Clean as ever. So now you wanna poke some hole so our juice can go in and I'm gonna pour on top. You can put a little bit at a time. I'm just putting some now and then you can always put more later, depends on how much you want the cake to have. So that and this one over here, I'm happy that I have this crack because the juice is gonna go in nicely and we don't have to 
worry about see so this came out clean as well and we're gonna add see how nice it is we're gonna go in with our grape juice now while it's hot you do that right away around and then you can always do some more later oopsies so we're gonna leave them to cool down and then we'll come back and cut these you don't want to cut them right away you want to make sure that your juice is soaking in and the cake is cool before you cut into it let's dive in for a piece of this cake now amazing you want your cake to be nice and moist and rich and soft I'm gonna cut one piece to share with me and my camera person because it's late and we want to make sure that look at that moist look at that baby there oh my goodness gracious that's what you're looking for in your black cake you want it to be really rich and you want it to be very, very nice and fruity. So you know it's a perfect black cake. Before I do the taste test, we have an anniversary shout out. Happy 22nd wedding anniversary going out to Girly and Mohammed. Greetings are coming from Riza, myself, and the entire YouTube family. So let me go in for a bite. And that's what you're looking for with your cake look at that goodness right there take a first bite mama mm. <laughs> i know you're in your happy moment right now and then i'm gonna go in for another piece and black cake is one of my favorite oh this is just my happy time right here I feel like this is Christmas morning. Well, how do you feel? Yes. It is so moist. Mm. It's so rich. The fruits are not hitting at all. And you can get a good hint of the grape, the grape juice. It is amazing. So moist. You can see the moistness of this cake. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful cake. So I hope you guys will give this non-alcohol black cake a try this is absolutely delicious very kids friendly and non-alcohol friendly and you will never regret it so i want to say stay blessed stay safe we love you guys bye for now bye